Yo, 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 what's up? This is John from JG Innovation Garage in the Peach Capital of the State, baby. All right, boys and girls, I want to see if this is going to work like this. All right, so been working on this wing for this 85 GT Coupe. I had two wings. I had two different fire. I had a small wing and then the whale tail. Well, he got a whale tail and he wanted me to fix it. Lord, how mercy. He was in bad shape. Bunch of crack, bunch of busting, you know, whatnot in it. I moved the microphone right there. So... I'm gonna show you that here in a second, but also I wanna show you this. Um, this is what I'm using, this Sims right here. It's flexible glaze, it's called bumper bike. All right, so I use this. Also use 3M Platinum Plus, um, 01131. Um, fellas, if you mix this stuff the way it says on the back of the thing, you'll be fine. I don't care if it's 100 degrees outside or it's 70 degrees outside. Weigh your filler on a scale. It's 2% hardener per body weight of the filler. And getting into that. All right, so also, um, I suppose or you poll, whatever you want to call it, uh, they have this little stuff right here. And what this is, is they have these body repair kits. We had a bunch of these at the school, at the college. Um, this has just got spreaders in it. But anyways, so they have reds, greens, and blues. So this one here, it says body repair kits for holes. All you need uh, to repair prime rust holes up to three inch wide, ready for paint. This thing comes with body filler, fiberglass reinforcement, body filler, either sand, and it comes with primer. So it comes right here. Uh, four things of body filler, or body filler, which has fiberglass in it. Four filler packs, hardeners, aluminum mesh, tack cloth, four pairs of gloves, six sandpapers. Uh, you got 80, 180, 500, 10 mixing sheets, applicator, multiple multiple purpose primer uh, made in the UK. All right, so some shops that when you go up and you have a repair order and you say, I got to do this, I got to do this, they just hand this to the tech and that's all you need to fix that. So we had a bunch of this stuff at the school and... Um, used a bunch of it so that's what this stuff is in here this fiberglass kitty hair in there and then you have the hardener all right this is the bumper bite that i use uh and then here is the hardener for that before you use that make sure you need it like that same thing with this you'll lay this out in the sun for a little bit and flip it over it'll warm it up and then you can mix it up because that resin same thing with this if you have a shaker Put this on a shaker, shake it, uh, get the resin mixed up. Also, um, I didn't use this on that, but also they have plastic bumper repair filler like this, all right? So it says plastic filler, uh, flexible plastic filler and hardener packs. Repair scratches, scuffs, and, mo mo and ultra, ultra flexible, all right? So it has all instructions in it. Right. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you the panel, all right? So, I hope that didn't scratch. All right, so here is the primer that comes in those kits. I've had real good luck with it. I had to fix a little something right here, so I spot primed it. I'll go back over it, and I'll hit it with a DA with 500, and then we'll be good to go on that. But here is the wing. Good, Johnny. Here is the wing. So, I had to do a lot of repair on this thing. A lot of repair. I had to do a lot of repair on the bottom. But that's uh, the glaze and the after I fiberglass it. And I used that right there. Bondo is a brand, boys and girls. That short kitty hair. I've done some fiberglassing right there. Uh, had to fix some cracks here and there. So this thing has been sanded with 180. Um, right here with 180. Uh, I'll put it on a little taco to drink. Um, and it was blocked out with a uh, leader box, which is right here. I blocked it out with that, but then I come back over with uh, these places here where I couldn't get it. I just went pop it right there, like this. And I'll show you this. All right, get into these edges right there. Make sure my edges are good and crisp. So now I wipe it off. Oh, excuse me. I wipe it off with some alcohol. I blow it off real good with my high. This is a high flow fitting, air fitting. See that? All right, boys, let me show you something if I can find it. Yep, right there she is. 
All right, let me show you Dear Twin Highway. Everything that I have in my shop is on Highway, all right? So it makes a difference, okay? So these are pretty low skins. They're high flow. They're a, a security quick lock. So everything I have has high flow thickness. See that? This is high flow thickness. This is a regular thickness. See that? Now look. I'm going to put that up. See the difference? That makes a difference. If you don't believe me, put a belt. If you don't believe me, try to breathe through a straw versus breathing normal. This is a straw, this is breathing normal. It makes a big difference. So everything's high flow. Everything. Everything in my everything in my shop's high flow. Everything. Everything is high flow. Everything is high flow. My impacts. Everything. See? Everything is high flow. It makes a difference. It makes a difference. So um let's get back over here to this. So this is ready. Um, like I said, I really appreciate you. Um, let, let me know what you think. Um, so this is ready. I'm gonna wipe it. I'm gonna blow it off really, really well. I'm gonna wipe it down with some alcohol prep. Make sure I didn't mix nothing. Do not put anything over body killer. It is absorbent. So I'm gonna be real, real cautious about that. And then I'm gonna mix up some CRE 321, and I'm gonna mix it two to one to. Not a half, not a whole. I'm gonna go like three quarters. So two to one to three quarters. Reduce it by three quarters. And I'm gonna spray this wing. And I'm gonna put three nice medium wet coats. And I'm gonna let this bad boy dry. And then I'm gonna let it set out in the sun for a couple hours. And I'm gonna put it back inside. And I'm gonna do that off and on uh, periodically through the day until it gets good and cured. And then once it's good and cured, then I'm gonna water sand it with 500. And this is getting satin black. So this is getting satin black. And this is getting satin black. All right, so once that's done, we'll go to there. Now, I'm going to, as soon as I get the Mustang, You want to know what a 2.5 is? This is 2.5. So 2.5 intake. 2.5 intake. On those heads. The red bull heads. Down the tail. See that? Here. 2.25. Two and a quarter. So that right there. This red bull pin.
Y'all first, but we'll see you back here some day. Get some out.